Getting into the Pokemon trading card game is easier than ever before, but with dozens of products, multiple formats, and thousands of cards to choose from, where do you start? If you're building on a budget, then there's always the trusty theme deck. With a bit of cash and a lot of creativity, you can build something bold and battle ready. You're watching Deck Boss. Hi everyone and welcome to Deck Boss, the show where we take classic theme decks and give them a competitive tune-up. This week, we're going to try and supercharge the Tropical Takedown theme deck from Forbidden Light. Tropical Takedown is a wacky theme deck that helped take Alolan Exeggutor to the big tables against the likes of meta contenders like Zoroark GX and even Picarom. Starring a quirky and powerful deck boss, a creative strategy, and backed up by a fantastic lineup of cards, this is arguably one of the best theme decks released in the Sun and Moon era. Now, let's crack this open and meet our deck boss. The Tropical Takedown theme deck is built around a Lolan Exeggutor. This Cuckoo Coconut Dragon is a stage one Pokemon with one very interesting attack. Tropical Shake costs one grass energy and does 20 damage plus 20 more for each different type of basic energy card in your discard pile, up to a max of 100 damage added. As far as deck bosses go, Alolan Exeggutor is an inspired pick. It's a stage 1, so it's easy enough to evolve up, it has a massive 160 HP for a stage 1, and its attack is incredibly efficient in terms of damage output for cost. But Alolan Exeggutor has some glaring drawbacks as well. Having one attack makes it extremely linear, that attack requires considerable early game setup, and its damage cap is kind of pitiful by 2021 standards. To make Alolan Exeggutor work, the biggest hurdles we have to overcome are dumping multiple energy cards into the discard pile early on, and finding ways to buff its 120 damage output. Tag teams just aren't the biggest beasts walking around anymore, and unfortunately, Alolan Exeggutor is dwarfed by VMAXs. It's a tall order, but this walking Pina Colada is up to the challenge. Now let's jump back into the theme deck and see what it gives us to work with. Tropical Takedown leans into the multi-energy aspect of the deck, packing it with a colorful variety of attackers. First up is Alolan Marowak, which provides some energy search and leverages the multiple Alolan Pokemon included in the deck to do damage. And while it's fun, it's not really worth including here. Next is Alolan Sandslash, which is a nice inclusion as some basic draw support. Its ability only gets you one card, but one card can make a difference sometimes, so it might make for a nice inclusion. There's also a few Alolan Raticates here who have some gimmicky attacks to do chip damage here and there, but again, not really worth running. You also get this Oricorio, which lets you search your deck for two energy cards when you play it onto your bench. Again, it's kinda nice, but there is a much better option available to us. On to the trainers. Your good draw supporters are Lily, Professor Kukui, and Sophocles. Each has their own unique use, so use them when appropriate. You also get Lady to help you pull a ton of energy from the deck, but getting energy in hand really isn't the best use of your supporter for turn, so I think we'll pass on this one. Your Pokeball package consists of Nest Ball and Ultra Ball, which is serviceable in a deck that wants to streamline one big attacker. You get a Field Blower for disrupting enemy tools and stadiums, particularly annoying HP boosters like Big Charm or Cape of Toughness. Weakness policy removes the attached Pokemon's weakness, obviously, which is kind of fun, but doesn't help in most situations, especially since weakness isn't really the issue these days with Alolan Exeggutor. Energy Lotto helps you grab energy from the deck a bit quicker, which is helpful especially because it can grab special energy, but not particularly useful here. Your recovery package includes Rescue Stretcher and Energy Retrieval, which do help quite a bit in churning out Alolan Exeggutors and charging them up consistently. And your switching package consists of a skateboard and a skate rope, which is very generous if you ask me, at least compared to more recent offerings. And as for the rest, don't worry about it. 
this is one of the most adventurous theme decks that the designers ever put together, if you ask me. A lot of decks might focus on one, maybe two types, but this one has you playing five. I mean, I really enjoy the idea of the deck, but going into deck building, I can see that consistency is going to be a huge issue that we're going to have to overcome. Oh, and definitely pick up two of these if you can find them, because on the back of the trainers alone, it is a fantastic deal. But of course, singles are a thing, so you do you. And now that we've got the basics down, let's jump on over to PTCGO to see how we can make this deck work. Okay, so making some sense out of this beautiful mess was a bit more rigorous than usual. Quite honestly, uh, I wrecked my rating on PTCGO trying to find a list that works, and largely that did come down to the inherent inconsistency of the deck and the fact that Power Creep has not been kind to Alolan Exeggutor. With the transition to a more V-dominated world, Alolan Exeggutor has lost a lot of the tools that made it threatening to even the most terrifying of tag teams. But, one must persevere, and I think I have a list that is at least serviceable in a world dominated by VMAXs. Starting off, the Jirachi Escape Board package is kind of necessary to help smooth over that inherent inconsistency, because a high count of unusable energies, among other things, is going to lead to a lot of bad hands. So, best case scenario, you start with one of these bad boys, and you maybe grab a supporter to give yourself a better starting hand. And quite honestly, starting anything else in this deck is bad news bears, so open Jirachi when you can. Shuckle from the Blazing Volcano theme deck is actually quite the inspired pick. When you play it from your hand to the bench, it lets you dump up to three basic energy cards from your deck, which obviously helps make Alolan Exeggutor's attack work. Now, you need to drop one to two of these in your first two turns ideally, or you're going to be in a lot of trouble. But thankfully, it is highly searchable being a basic grass Pokemon, which is why I favor it over an item like Battle Compressor, for example. But I have to admit, it sucks pretty hard when you start it, so do be wary of that. Kartana is a fun little tech. If you manage to take out a two-prizer with a Lolan Exeggutor, then Kartana offers you a solid 130 damage pop without having to evolve something up. And it makes for a really nice pivot into something like Jirachi or Alolan Exeggutor because it has free retreat. Our draw supporter package is pretty expansive and kind of by necessity. This deck is extremely prone to bricking, and so you need ample opportunities to refresh your hand and hopefully get something more workable every turn. Cynthia and N are both solid shuffle draw options, with N allowing you to potentially brick an opponent in the late game and Cynthia giving you a nice consistent 6 cards whenever you need them. Colrus is a nice option here because you need to aggressively bench a lot of Pokemon early on, and your opponent will likely have a few in play as well, so it can often turn into a nice draw 7, or even a draw 9 in a lot of circumstances. And Professor Kukui is a must here. It's here more so for the 20 damage boost to its attacks, but it's favored over something like Leon because you also really need that draw power in a largely inconsistent deck like this one. Netball is an automatic inclusion in a deck like this because it lets you search a basic grass Pokemon or a basic grass energy, which gives it fantastic utility throughout the course of a game. In the early game, it's useful to fetch Execute and Shuckles, and in the late game, it can help you grab an energy in a pinch. So yeah, it's a fantastic card you play this at 4. Quick Ball is nice here because it searches for a lot of the same things that we're going to need early on, and if you happen to have one of those useless energy cards in hand, it's a great way to dump one and maybe fetch a Shuckle to dump even more. We're also including a few copies of Ultra Ball to help fetch Exeggutor, but also to give us another out to Shuckle. You're often going to find yourself in situations where you need to dump energy cards pretty quickly to make sure that Alolan Exeggutor is hitting hard enough, so really, having a larger Pokeball package in general is kind of a necessity. That, and after your initial setup, you will often find that things like Shuckle or maybe the odd energy flying around here or there will tend to become a useless brick in your hand, so this is a really great way to dump those useless resources and get something much more useful in a pinch. Viridian Forest is a really nice way to tutor out some energy cards while discarding other cards. 
In the early game, you can use it to dump and fetch useless energies in order to better accelerate your setup for Exeggutor. Perfect example, if you open up a fairy energy, you use Viridian Forest to dump that fairy energy, grab a lightning energy, and then you quick ball away that lightning energy to grab a shuckle. You do something like that, and the next thing you know, you have five energies ready in the discard pile, and Alolan Exeggutor can start smashing. Ordinary Rod provides some recovery, allowing you to get back one Exeggutor line and two Grass Energies. I really wanted to play two, but there really just wasn't room in this deck. And again, in the early game, it can kind of be a dead card in your hand, so it just had to be one in this case. But this effectively means that you only have five Alolan Exeggutors available to you to take six prizes during the course of the game. So if anything else, make sure you are trading KOs very efficiently. Muscle Band is a necessary tool, allowing Exeggutor to hit for 20 more damage against the enemy active. Choice Band used to be the go-to here, allowing you to do 30 more damage to enemy GXs and EXs, but sadly, it does nothing against Pokemon V. Still, uh, Muscle Band works well enough, letting you ramp to 140 will net you the 2KO on almost every tag team before factoring healing and things like HP buffing tools. But if you stack on Professor Kukui, that lets you hit a max of 160, which is a clean KO on pretty much every tag team, and most V maxes as well. And finally, in addition to our six basic grass energy to actually use Alolan Exeggutor's attack, we play six other kinds of basic energy to be the fuel in the discard pile for Tropical Shake. Honestly, you pick your favorites here. Alolan Exeggutor only requires five different types of energy cards in the discard pile, but it is likely that you're going to prize one or two, which means your damage output could be severely cut down throughout the course of a game. So playing this higher count basically guarantees that you'll always have enough variety to discard and start hitting for 120 damage right away. And that's the deck. It is fun. Really fun, but I'm not going to lie, it does have some serious issues as well. I do think in particular the lack of anti-Pokemon V measures in the vein of something like Choice Band or Shrine of Punishment really hurts Alolan Exeggutor's playability right now. There's no getting around the fact that it takes basically 75% of your main attackers before factoring things like Ordinary Rod to take out a single VMAX when you're not hitting for weakness. And, of course, playing six bricks in the form of energy cards that you can't use for anything is really going to hurt your consistency. But still, it can be an absolute monster against one to two prize decks, and if you play it well, maybe even three prizers. Now that we've got our lineup, let's jump on over to the expanded ladder to test out this tropical meme of a deck.
Okay, so uh, that was an interesting experience. Um, I will be honest, it took a lot to make this deck work by 2021 standards for reasons already stated above. There were so many games I played in the course of testing and finding a list that worked where I straight up bricked, prize multiple execute, or somehow managed to prize multiple of any of the many combo pieces that you need to actually get this thing rolling. It's not the easiest plane to pilot, so again, kudos to the players who really innovated with this deck and turned it into the fantastic rogue monster that it was back in the day. And this deck is a beautiful mess. It is a beast. When it works. When it works. It is just so much fun. And it can actually be pretty vicious. You could see a bit of it in that game against the Dark Rise Lazzle deck where Alolan Executor was just able to straight up overwhelm the two prizers through a combination of solid damage output and high enough HP to weather the storm put out by the Dark Rye. It was just pure value, and I loved every moment of it. And I'm really hoping we kind of get a spiritual reprint of this Pokemon in an upcoming set. Nothing I've seen so far coming out of Chilling Rain even comes close, but... My god, this is an idea that the designers really need to revisit down the road. And yes, I know it's not the most elegant archetype to play, but at least it's interesting. <laughs> and, you know, these days, I'm, I'm honestly valuing that more than anything else in the game. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you hadn't already. I personally am feeling a little bit better after my brush with the coof, and thankfully, I've managed to bank a lot of games for upcoming episodes of Deck Boss, so everything should be back on schedule from this point on. Now, if you don't mind, I'm actually off to hunt for more theme decks, funny enough. Finding Tropical Takedown was a bit of a mission. Finding two was kind of crazy, but with a few more fun ones that I really want to get, like Twilight Rogue and Destruction Fang on my list, I have got plenty to keep me busy. So that'll wrap it up for this week. I will catch you all next time for some more deck boss fun. And until then, take it easy.